Hey guys, welcome back to General Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're doing another how to video. Today I'll be teaching you how to set up the Desmume emulator, otherwise known as the Nintendo DS emulator, on your PC. And as you know, I do these videos very quick, so let's get right into it. I'm already on the site, desmume.org. We simply are going to download the file. The link will be in the description below for you to download the file. I'm gonna extract that. Like I said, we're fast and furious over here, dude. Fast and Furious. It's here, and we launch it. You're done. We just did it. I'm I'm joking, but we, we got more stuff to do now. With Desmume, normally we want to play. I always play side by side, so right away we take that off of that. We want it like this, but we can do a bit more with it. So you, if if you have a decent PC, you normally won't need to really change anything here. I would recommend changing this to one to get the best quality graphics. We're going to simply now check here. Once again, everything seems fine. The 3D settings. Now, everything here is fine. I would normally like to keep it on soft rasterizer. OpenGL, I believe, is if you're using a GT, uh, yeah, GDX card. This is AMD. Uh, this is Intel, actually, I'm using, so it doesn't really matter. But you can leave it like that. Nothing really changes here. We can change the controls with the control. I am ha I do have my controller plugged in. Go check out my video on how to control how to get your controller working on your PC. It's in the link that will also be in the link down below. And I just configure the controller on the DS emulator. It's simple as that. Display method. Now you can either use direct draw or OpenGL. Either one works fine. I would normally keep it to direct draw H HW though. And there's one more thing I would you would need to do. To play the game in Some high end settings. So we're just gonna launch one of the games that I have here. Just gonna show you a very quick example of the game. This was a speedrun man, I gotta say. Okay, so we got Coraline. As you can see. As we can see, that was crazy loud. As you can see, the quality isn't the best on the DS emulator though. We want it more than that. So what we're going to do here simply is carry it up to now if you have a like I said if you have a decent PC I mean this can pretty much run on a toaster but if you have a decent PC five times and you just carried up the resolution of the game now the game is running at a much higher quality and it's much more playable and that will be it for the video. I just want to show you guys how to get the Destiny Movement emulator running on the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. I'll see you guys next time.